<laughs> Seems like an audience who, who really likes uh, Justin Timberlake. Any Justin Timberlake fans in here? Yeah, right? The kid is fucking catchy as shit. But do not stop to listen to his lyrics. I made that mistake once. He, ha he has a lyric that goes, If I wrote you a symphony, what would you do? And then immediately after he goes, If I told you that you were beautiful, what would you do? <laughs> Wait a second, Justin. I want to know what she said to the first question. <laughs> because that seems like a huge leap backwards in effort. <laughs> Did she say, ooh, a symphony? I'd marry you. He goes, holy shit. I just overshot my goal. <laughs> I was just looking for a hand job in the parking lot. <laughs> Shit, what do I get if I uh, tell you that you're beautiful? <laughs> Is it your titty in the bathroom? Or how does that work? It's the exchange right there. <laughs> ah, shit. Justin Timberlake, guys. Good looking guy. That's all I got. <laughs> all I got on him. I, uh, I have a girlfriend of, of six years. And uh, recently she told me, she said out of the blue, she goes, you know what? I used to seem a lot more confident six years ago when we met. Yeah, maybe because I didn't have someone six years ago telling me that I used to seem more confident. <laughs> and that really fucks with the guy's confidence. <laughs> And the reason that I used to be more confident is because I had just read that book, The Game. Anybody read that book? It's the game of, it's, it's the book on the pickup artist, right? And that book tells you that to meet women, you have to be confident. And if you're not confident, you have to fake it. So what I would do before going out every night is I'd play my younger cousin in chess, and I would fucking destroy him. <laughs> <laughs> he was 10 years old. <laughs> and then I would uh, listen to three hours of Tupac. <laughs> By that time, I would just go out like a fucking thug life Bobby Fischer. <laughs> I didn't care about anything. I can take your rook. I don't give a shit. Throw away my queen. I don't care if I lose her. And uh, the thing that the book doesn't tell you, though, is if she sticks around for six years, that is a serious commitment to lying about your confidence. All right? My younger cousin's gotten way better at chess. Uh, Tupac hasn't come out with a new album. I don't know where that guy is. <laughs> Some tough shit to keep a hold of. I love my girlfriend though. She she's really great, and and uh, I think I think I maybe like her so much because she's not um, what's the word I'm looking for? Crazy. All right. Like when I was in college. I just lost all my baby fat, so my friends still wanted something to uh, make fun of me about, you know? So every time they would see a girl, like, with half her head shaved, or maybe, like, homemade tattoos, or crawling out of a dumpster, <laughs> or, like, screaming at traffic, they'd be like, hey, Ryan, there's your girlfriend. <laughs> Ryan, there's your girlfriend. And they're like... Guys, that's so annoying. I already know she is. <laughs> Minerva and I have been dating for years now. <laughs> I had a reputation for dating uh, emotionally unstable girls. Like, I dated a girl once. She was half Native American and so clingy that my best friend called her the Atachi Indian. That's... <laughs> I mean, that guy's a dick, right? That wasn't me. That wasn't me at all. I, I also dated a girl who was super lazy, but had OCD. 
<laughs> so a lot of our conversations would go like this. <sighs> Ryan, can you check the stove? Can you check it again? I smell gas, can you check it again? <laughs> This time spin around three times and my mom's gonna die. Check it again. <laughs> she would just sit there. <laughs> uh, I think the reason that my current girlfriend and I have stayed together so long, and um, just a warning, this is gonna get dark, but I swear it gets funny again. <laughs> she has as crazy a dating history as I do. Like, her last boyfriend, this is true, he was bipolar, and he committed suicide. And that's really sad, guys. But you would think that would set the bar for me pretty low. <laughs> like you would just think, don't commit suicide, and she'd be happy. But no. My girlfriend still expects me to do boyfriend things, you know? Like, not get too drunk at her birthday party. Not call her sister really attractive. And not say things like, I know why your last boyfriend killed himself when we're arguing. Because that never wins an argument. No matter how right you are. And sometimes when we fight, couples do this all the time. When we're really fighting and you just want to kill the other person. I mean, you love them, but you want to kill them. You love and you want to kill them. I never think I want to kill her. I always think, oh, she's so lucky I don't kill myself. <laughs> because one boyfriend killing himself, that's bad luck. <laughs> Two in a row, people are going to talk, right? <laughs> There's going to be an investigation, probably a law and order. <laughs> 